Greetings kids, it's Grumpy Man on a kind of windy, very hot, there's my Focus, hello Focus, uh, I'm at another BMW event, so big thanks to BMW Motorrad Canada and Nadon Moto Sport, or Nadon Sport and Saint Eustache, uh, I was supposed to I was signed up uh, for a K600 GT, not the GTL, a GT, but they don't have a GT. So when I came back, uh, when I came here, they, I saw that uh, I was going to try the the bagger. Um, so the K600B, but then I'd rather try this. Although it doesn't have the TFT dash, but... Uh, so this is a 2018 uh, GS Adventure. So the same boxer engine, 125 horsepower, at like uh, six, high 6,000 RPM, 92 foot-pounds of torque. Um, at 5,800, I think, and it's 580 pounds. Hopefully, it's not too too tall for me. Well, it's pretty tall. <laughs> I'd definitely be getting the low. Uh, the low suspension and you can see it doesn't have the TFT so like that gentleman has next to me um, so this is the old uh, so so the difference between a regular GS and a GS Adventure is um, you get about an inch more suspension travel on this and you get a 30 liter tank the big mother so this gives you wind protection as well and the extra bars and stuff so those are the main differences um, options you can option a regular GS out to have mo you know kind of the same stuff but yeah it's a uh, it's for different people this is also a big this, that weighs about I don't know 20 30 pounds less maybe you know gas is a it's a big difference that's like a 21 liter tank so this is almost 10 liters more fuel you get this little cubby hole which is kind of cool <laughs> So, this is my first time driving a GS, so, if you guys follow my channel, you know that I have an R1200R, 2015, I love that bike, they have one here in the stupid chocolate color, <laughs> uh, but I, I, I can go either way, so either RT like that, or this, uh, or a 1600 I suppose, but 1600 the maintenance really scares me. Yeah, this is pretty high, I'm on my tippy tippy toes. Um, so if I got one of these I'd get the low suspension, so you lose the benefit I guess of a higher suspension, but that's for like serious, I think, off-roaders. And if you're a serious off-roader, I don't know if you're doing a GS, although... Let's just get going here. Well, let's first of all... First of all, I just took it out of... Uh, Okay, so someone had it in rain mode, which dulls the throttle input. So basically a less aggressive throttle on your grip. So so this is in dynamic mode. This is like the sporty mode. I run a custom mode on mine, but anyway, it's, it's all the same uh, stuff. Man, you feel tall on this thing. Okay, it has a quick shifter. So, so basically in this category of uh, premium premium adventure bikes or Euro adventure bikes, this is this is the big daddy, okay? This is this is the most probably the most popular one. This is the one everyone tries to copy. Um, I'm a little bit biased, but it's true. Are there other good adventure bikes? Oh, of course. Um, uh, I'll get back to that in a sec. Let's just I'll do my usual uh, disclaimer that um, this is a dealer. This is not a demo. This is not a press event. Um, 
So I don't have a choice of the route. I don't have the choice of, of where we go. Um, it's a group ride. If you don't like that, you know, maybe uh, shut off the... Uh, I'll adjust the windscreen after. There's just a little wheel there. So at any rate, this is the... This is the big daddy, okay? In the adventure arena. There's people, I've seen some crazy, crazy, crazy off-road videos. If you go on YouTube, you don't have to look very far. There's some people with some mad skills. But is this really an off-road bike? I'm gonna say no, it's 580 pounds without gear. That's with gas. So 580 pounds, this thing falls, and you do fall when you go on trails and stuff. Um, it's gonna take a lot to pick it up. It's all doable, so. What I like about it, and this is my take on this type of bike, this is, this is a do-it-you-all bike. So, it's mad comfortable. Like, I'm super comfortable right now. Besides being, uh, the only, my only uneasiness is that I'm a little bit uh, tall and I can't get, to, uh, I'm on my tippy toes. But to me, that's, uh, but anyway, that's fixable. They don't have all the seats here. I was hoping they would. Um, so you could load this up and you're going to be super comfy. And if you want to do some dirt roads, hey, no problem. It's got uh, Michelin Anakin 3. Whee! Oh, wow, this is really a different feeling. <laughs> because it's the, it's the engine that I know and love. Uh, the quick shifter is so much better than mine. Um, you know, it's the engine you know and love, but... Ah, so I, I like that, that's not bad. It's the engine you know that I know and love, but it's, on, it's a completely different chassis. So the, uh, as well as BMW, uh, honestly I haven't dealt with them that much, but they're super friendly today. And, coming up there so pull in so I hope you liked it comments any questions something I might have missed uh, I wish I there was press bikes and I could take one for a few days because that would be pretty sweet because I would rent one probably before buying one but uh, well this is gonna be fun the parking <laughs> Yes, we're going to turn off the camera, maybe. Okay, so thanks for watching, and have yourselves a great day. Like and subscribe.